To solve a triangle, you're just finding all the missing um, angles and side lengths. So in this one, um, it's telling us capital letters represent the angles and the small, the lowercase letters represent the sides. So C is seven, that would be this part over here and capital B equals 38, that would be this angle right here. So now that we know what this angle is and we know that this angle is, we know that this one has to add up to 180 or we know that these two have to add up to 90. So this one should be 52 degrees up here. So angle A, measure of angle A is equal to 52 degrees. Okay, so now we just need to figure out what the length of A and the length of B are. So because we only know one side length, we're only going to be able to use trig for one of them. And then for the other one, we can use uh, Pythagorean theorem if we want. So um, if we're looking for B first, let's say that this is the one that we want to find first. Um, if this is the angle that we're going to be working with, this would make this our theta. This would be the opposite. Over here is our hypotenuse, and this is our adjacent. So if we're finding B first, that's the opposite of the over the hypotenuse, which is sine. So we're going to do sine of 38 is equal to B over 7. So all we're going to do is take the 7 and move it out front here. So 7 times the sine of 38 is equal to B. So when we do that, um, it's approximately 4.31. So 4.31 is equal to B. So now that we know what B is equal to, um, we can find what A is equal to. And so I think the easiest way to do that one would be to, to use the Pythagorean theorem. If you prefer to use trig, you can. Um, to find A, you would have to use the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so you would be doing cosine of 38 is equal to A over 7. And so again, you're moving the 7 out front here. You're just multiplying both sides by 7 to get rid of this here. So you'd have 7 times the cosine of 38 is equal to A. And so when you take 7 times the cosine of 38, you get 5.5. 5, 2 is equal to A. Now, if you were to set this up using the Pythagorean theorem, you would get the same thing. You would do A squared plus 4.31 squared is equal to 7 squared. And from there, you would just use the Pythagorean theorem to find what A is equal to, and eventually you would get to the point where A is also equal to 5.52.